Welcome back to the corner time. where we talk all things music. Everything's nice. The fellas is back in the building, and this week, where do we go? We gonna be reviewing. Are we starting? I guess so. Jeezy, not professional. Right. You ain't got I your ears I might forgive, on. but I don't forget. I'm just forget. Gonna I might forget. Just yeah. yeah, some of us did our homework. Some of us did not. Somebody, somebody did half of it. Yeah. First off, don't now blame go, me. Now go to the front of the class and tell everybody what you learned. Right on the chalkboard three times. <laughs> we don't want to hear that. My dog ate the other half. Yeah. Shit. Man, let me tell you, it was Friday. Busy day. Mm. How many emails you How sent? How you been playing Call of Duty all day? But it's Friday. You ain't got no job. Are we serious? What type of shit we on today? <laughs> <laughs> Shit's live. <laughs> So not only so you just half ass was at home. You oh, apple top. You made it sound like you. That's a legend. That's a legend. To, <laughs> like, a legend. That nigga ran That's a legend. Were oh, you sorry. at home today? Yeah. You don't. You don't today. I saw you. I'm like this nigga. Just be out here. Both of you niggas just fucking. <laughs> but he did his homework. So he cool. I was yeah. still working though, man. I Me guess, too. Yeah. I told you I was on phone calls. I was. I was in calls too. That's what I'm saying. Nigga. <laughs> what part y'all landing that? <laughs> no, I had to do. I do a lot of my follow up calling emails on Fridays because it's easy work. Mm. Anyway, man, you know the Jeezy fresh off the press, mm. double yeah. album, double. I'm, I'm gonna tell you what half of it. I, what you know what it is for well, sure. Derek gonna give us his opinion on the part that he was able to get to. Double album, no features. Come on, bro. Uh, That's a lot of songs, no feature. Yeah, well, he has some feature. There was he has some that I don't think they're listed, like a part of the song. There's a couple of little background vocals. Man, I feel yeah. kind of weird now because I, I he feel was like the only one be, rapping, rapping. He, oh, he had a lot of words, bro. All right, I reserve the right to change my. Uh, no, you can you can come back and give your your. No, your all first ratings script. are final. No. Yeah. Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> no. Sometimes music give some music is like chili. You it, can't redact your rate. It's gonna Come get. On. It might get better with time. Like a good spaghetti. Mm, that spaghetti do hit the yeah. next night. Yeah. All right, don't mean we start with me. That season is settled. You don't want to start with somebody else. You sure? Might as well start with you, man. All right. So I, I I'm gonna do the Tim Tebow. <laughs> you good, man? <laughs> I didn't listen to the whole album. I listened to the first half. I might it forgive. A, it was an album where Johnny listened to the completely wrong album before. At least you yeah, might have. That's true. There. That's was that take? True. Nah, no, Chris that was pulled the white up rapper. another. That Chris was the white up, rapper. Yeah, Mills. 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 Millie. Oh. He was like, nah, we went on three. Like, like let's give it a review and everything. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all last song wouldn't. <laughs> I'm going to start out but the game. But you did listen to the better half, though. In my opinion. Oh, this is the better half? I like, so I like okay. cool. Now the first you're part. skewing his opinion. Bro. Yeah, because I'm really no. probably not going to go back and listen to the second half. I like the, the first part now. better than the second part. Let me, can, I, can I get my go shit ahead. out right now? I'm just Since I listened to the best half, I will, I will say this was pretty good. Mm-hmm. First thing for me was, uh, I think we listened to the Games album. I said, I didn't like the fact that the game was like 30, whatever the fuck he is, still talking oh, yeah. like oh, yeah. he's you know doing all this crazy shit. I didn't think Jeezy came like that on this. I think, uh, what was the pause. first one? You ain't got to pause everything, man. You ain't got to pause everything. But on this one, he talked about like how he's uh, kind of like away from that shit. Like, yeah. Like uh, he said he's drinking his own shit from France. Like he got some type of spirit business or something like that, maybe. Mm-hmm. Water. Was it water? Yeah. Is that what he's drinking? He's water? got his own water. Water. I know he's got tequila. Avion, tequila ain't from France. Avion Tequila. No, I'm just saying. I know he he might have a water company. Well, Are I you, thought he was talking about something. He's talking about water. That's what he said. He said he got 50, water. 50 cent from water. He got his own water. water. I might I might take a point off for that now, man. Why? Because I thought he was involved with some type of, you know, spirit, cognac or something. You don't just be... Defiance fuel. You got fuel. some water from France? Defiance fuel. Our premium structured hydration provides water that is more easily absorbed. Nigga, it's water. That's Jeezy's water. Hey, man, yeah, I'm going to take a point. I'm going to take a point. <laughs> you going to take a That's point for his up, water? Bro. I'm going to take a point, bro. He's trying to hydrate the masses. But uh, first half, mm, let me think, let me think. I thought they were all kind of pretty solid, actually. Uh, Don't Cheat was one I really liked. Did his, uh, did his wife cheat on him? 
I don't think so. Okay. Uh, they had Did culture, he cheat on her? They had cultural differences. I don't know. Cultural they, differences? What you mean? They had. I know they had disagreements on how to raise their baby. Yeah, cultural, yeah. What race is she? She's Asian. She's Punjab? Bro, that's like, I think, Indian. <laughs> like, that's crazy, Chris. I'm just asking a question. That Nigga, is not the question. That's the worst way to ask it. <laughs> She's Asian, like Chinese. Oh, okay. All right, but for me, Don't Cheat was probably one of my favorites. Uh, keep the changes up there with the same in that tier. Uh, da, 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 da. This two shall pass. Pretty good. Uh, for me, the whole just like it's, it wasn't like the cheesy that I was expecting when I went into it. It wasn't like the snowman. I'll say that. Snowfall? No, the snowman. Oh. Well, Snowman was his snowfall. Snowfall was his last snowfall album. Was his last album. That's no, I mean, like, it wasn't like the OGs, like the Snowman, the Dope, and all well, that. yeah. This was way more grown up. This is what I expect from, like, someone like Jeezy, any of those rappers that's up there in age. I don't expect you to have an album. What age does that need to change to? What, uh, what well, Jeezy ain't been out here doing shit like that in, what, a decade? Yeah, two decades, two decades, maybe? Decades, oh. Like, so I don't want to hear it in your album. Yeah. Game. Like, come on. If, if you're still doing shit like that, you kind of, that's probably not the music I want to listen to from you. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm saying. Like, Jeezy came out in what, 2005? I believe Before so. Before then. 04, 05. Right? I mean, Jeezy. Mm-hmm. So let's just say Jeezy's a grown ass man now. He's been out a while. He's been having money for a while. I mean, you were married. You got kids. This type of album I want to hear. You talking about something else besides the dope. You talking about your business in this album? Your businesses? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever that is. He talk about that. Uh, what else did he talk about? That I was like, okay. He talked about his beef with his boys or whatever. Yeah, he tried to rat he on went hard on that. Yeah, yeah. I I like this. I'll say that. So for me, I'd probably go after that water thing. I feel he like does I'm, have a water. I'm biased because I didn't hear the whole album. But the first half, I go at least seven and a half. The portion that you listen to is a seven and a half. I go seven and a half. Okay, and that's and, I, and that's after. Listening to it too. Two thousand five. Good call. I didn't get to get the the whole four listens in, so I'm kind of upset about that. Okay, seven and a half. Johnny, what you got? All right. Johnny likes Jeezy. I like Jeezy, but what I've come to find out is I really mm-hmm. like old Jeezy. Oh. I love the Snowman. Pause. I don't hold nothing against the Snowman. Can't but. ban the Snowman. You like the rest. Amazing. You like, I you like, like the, the rest. Shit. Yeah, I don't yeah. necessarily like this grown up shit. You don't, like the mature, you don't like <laughs> really? the mature music? All right, let me explain it. I get it. So, you know. Cheese uh, Factory, good enough. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Jeezy's first three albums, I huh. thought were great. And it was all because of what he was talking about. And Can't Ban the Snowman is probably one of the best mixtapes ever. The Motivation. It was. TP or TM, the one of us, TM 101, 102, and then we're in recession. 103 was the recession. Yeah. So those three. Yeah, recession was. Whew. Uh, I don't know if I'm here for grown up Jeezy. And it's it's not that the songs were bad, because I, I mean, the songs were cool, but it's only so much a nigga can rap about. That he got property and he got businesses and stuff. Like, he said okay. he got duplexes now. Yeah, I know. He said he owns half a land. <laughs> yeah, you know, I know. What you know about a forty acre yard? He said. Yeah. <laughs> I I personally would hate to have a forty acre yard. I'm sure he's not cutting it. I mean, I'm just throwing it out there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm put some cows out. Right, there. I'd be crazy if Jesus was out there on the mower like <laughs> shit's taking forever. <laughs> but the album one didn't sound bad. I really like Don't Cheat. That was like probably my favorite song on the whole thing. Uh, like I said, I don't know. I'm just, I really like old Jeezy. I'm an old nigga, old music nigga, I guess. I keep saying that. But you ratchet. So is that your I favorite am. song in there? Don't Cheat? Yeah. It's probably, I'm going to go with Tears on this one. It's like uh-huh. Don't Cheat and uh, what was the other one I said? The, uh, it's just one favorite song, man. I don't need no tears or none. Just Because well, I didn't really song, have man. a song. I was like, yo, this definitely, this the, like, you know, last time I was like, I like that song. Why don't you come down on them, Ken? Like, you be huh? setting parameters for me, but like when it comes to them, you be letting them do whatever they want. Bro, they do what I ask. You just go off and do your own thing. Whoa, you talking like <laughs> I just didn't have a song that I thought was like far and away better than all the rest of the songs. They all seem to be like pretty solid songs. Like you can tell he's been in this thing for a while. That's fair. 
And that was one. So that was my, your favorite song, then. Don't cheat was yeah. my favorite song, okay. probably. Uh, That's all you had to say, Linder. <laughs> Excuse me. I will go with the solid album. It is a solid album. I think it's cool. Will I listen to it again? Probably not, though. Was this better than Snowfall? I, I like that album a lot. I didn't. I didn't listen to that. Snowfall. Yeah, that one was. I felt like that one was more. I did too. Which is weird. It was closer. Really we on. did an episode on. It was one that we did. We just talked about y'all two just, just found here. it. We, oh yeah, 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 yeah. You weren't here. That's what it was. Yeah. But that one was. It was a mixtape, I think, too. Mm-hmm. Yes. DJ Drama, drama did. Drama, yeah. Yes. But I felt like that one was closer to Can't Be in the Snowman than it, 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 it fed than that audience is, for sure. It fed that audience. It was, uh, a good, it was a weird tweener album. I thought it only had like a couple good songs to me at least on there. Snowfall. I thought it was good. Yeah, I liked that one. I was listen. I listened to that one several times after we listened after we talked about that, it. That that was a heavy rotation. For but me. this one, I don't know. I don't know if I'll go back to it honestly. So you still want to hear the Jeezy chopping up white bricks and shit? I uh, I don't really. I don't want him. To, he don't have to rap about that today. He said that mm-hmm. on one of his songs. What I might forgive. He said, uh, yeah. "Jeezy can't rap. He need to go back to bricks or whatever." Yeah. Somebody. He said they yeah. saying that. They about saying that. Yeah. They yeah. saying he need to go back. To and bricks. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying I like that music better. And that's the Jeezy that I like. You know what I'm saying? Not saying that I dislike this Jeezy. It's cool. It's cool music. It's just like I said. Like I'm probably not going back to this. With that being said, I thought it was a solid album. It was cool. Okay. So I'm going to okay. give it a seven. Mm-hmm. Because that's the Johnny seven. Johnny seven. Johnny seven. Yeah. Who's Johnny? <laughs> yeah. So Who's is it possible Johnny? to like, you, you say you like that music. Is it just now you got to get that music from somebody else? No, because I don't like new niggas either. But I'm saying like if Jeezy did that type of music, would you say like, uh, you're not really in that shit. You yeah, no, nah, I'd be like, he passed that. I agree with that. So then it's like, so I just listen to OGZ when he wasn't. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so so it's like, I'm, really, I'm not gonna be able to get with any of your new shit because yeah, not that know. I'm not gonna be able to get with it. Like, like I don't I actually pref- think that the stuff that he's rapping about is um, on par with on par with what I think should happen in a rap career. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you come in the game, you might have been just selling bricks or doing whatever, but eventually you've been rich for a long time, so you are gonna rap about. The property that you own and how you tired of beefing with your boys mm-hmm. and you know like family and this that and the third like it will eventually the investments yeah it will. But what you have to appreciate is he's rapping his truths. You know, what I'm saying he can, still be, mm. he can still be out here talking about selling bricks and he said I used to have a blue Lambo. You know what I'm saying? So it's like it's like survivor's remorse almost like. I don't know. I'm pretty sure he still drives a really nice vehicle. He said, yeah, uh, but he got the blue Lambo from selling dope. Yeah. yeah, Everything about me is true. He had a blue Lambo before he had a a, rap deal. Huh? Said number 19, everything about me is true. Yeah, and I can rap about his truth. Like I'm saying, I I can respect that. that. I'm not necessarily, like I said, the subject matter, I understand the progression of your career and where you should be, what, 18 years down the road. Especially when, like, I don't know his financials. Per se, but I would imagine he's been pretty much in, he's been King rapping Smith. since yeah. I'm like, and then just hearing him talk, you can say that he's invested his money well, and it's this that, and a third. So of course, these are the things he's going to rap about now, and I'm good with that. I think it's actually probably better for um, people younger than me to mm-hmm. hear that type of message. Like, yo, you ain't gotta be in the streets. You it's, ain't gotta stay in the streets. It's like the OG age. Of our yeah, like I can, on. I can appreciate that. You ain't gotta stay in the streets your whole life, whatever, mm-hmm. whatever. You know, not everyone gets out though. That's, it's like a catch twenty two though, like because he's like, oh, I like the old Jeezy better. The, the shit he was talking about then, yeah. But it's like if you heard the new Jeezy saying that, you still be like, well, now nah, that's kind of weird, dude. Right? Yeah. True. Yeah. True. JD but that's why I say well, so I just listen the new, to the old Jeezy though. But the it's new just Jeezy like I still listen win. to Marvin and I still listen to Luther because I really listen to that yeah, shit and yeah, listen yeah, to. I remember Jay Z had a line was like, "Niggas want my old shit, well buy my old albums." You know yeah. what I'm saying? So like, you gotta give them space to. I'm gonna stream it. To I ain't gonna buy it, but. Mm-hmm. But the new Jeezy can't win in your eyes though. That's what you're saying right now. I didn't say he lost. Oh, we well, didn't win. I didn't say he lost. I I didn't. He bars in life. I consider he is winning. Oh, if I know, I mean, like I said, I don't know his situation per se, but I'm just saying off of of the image that we have, he's doing. Yeah, I figure. I'm like, like I say, like that's how I I would imagine your rap career should be. Like it doesn't. 
anybody. You know what I'm saying? Anybody who, especially uh, in that area of music, like, you know, trap music, that's basically what it was all about back then. Everybody was selling dope or, you know what I'm saying, I keep the tool on me, you run, you know what I'm saying, whatever. But, like, you know, we 40, year old, 40 years old now. 46. Jeezy's 46. He, oh, he a, Jeezy's 46. So what? Grandpa age. Yeah. Boy, why are you still rapping, Grandpa? <laughs> well, if nigga, you can't say that. True. Is that true? <laughs> he, he just Is he a Grandpa? Up, right there. No. No, Jeezy's not. 40, he's 46. 46 years old. Yeah. What? Yeah. Damn. He had a baby at 45? Yeah. Oh, damn. <laughs> so. He got a. He has three <laughs> kids. Three kids. Yeah, he had a son. He, he got a, a grown son. He just had the son. baby with, with Yeah, he was talking about his son. Was yeah, he got a grown son. 40, yeah. I didn't know he was 46, But no grandkids, man. though, right? No. Okay. I don't think so, anyway. But, uh... You gotta be rapping with a suit on now, Jeezy. <laughs> but when you see him, for the most part, you He's see clean. him in, like, suits. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to see no more that yeah. Triple X Snowman shirt. Nah, shit. I mean... Bro. Okay, for the verses, he was dressed crazy. No, gee, don't that do that. Crazy. He was dressed crazy. He had on a leather jersey. <laughs> no, but, <laughs> that's, but that's also him going back to what he was. Right, because he's doing so the, can, all the yeah. old music. That's, that's doing, him. That was him going back as what he was yesterday with today's money. Yeah. Jeezy back then would have had a FUBU jersey on. <laughs> We're not going to shit on FUBU. Because huh? FUBU is the shit. No, I'm just saying, like. I even have FUBU. If it comes to a Walmart near me, I will be there. Remember that football jersey? Yeah, that Carolina Blue yeah. joint. <laughs> so, is there but, any like uh, rapper that's been a while for a while, been a while uh, around for a while that you like? I like their new music too, even though they're not talking about the same. Subject Jay Cole. Matter? He ain't. I mean, he ain't <laughs> been around like Jay Cole. He's like, he wasn't he's like the only. Yeah, yeah no, nah, I don't. I'm thinking like uh, Ti. Like I still I feel like, like Gucci Mane been around. A long okay, time. like I, I really that. like old school Ti. Yeah. I don't really like new Ti. Okay. Uh, 2005. You got the game. Like I like uh, old game. Uh, I don't really Fat like new Joe. game. Fat Joe. I mm-hmm. really like Fat I, Joe's not active anymore. But Fat Joe had a formula and he stuck to it. And it's and, also and like more. Fat Joe like lean back. Like who don't like lean back when they come out? You know what I'm but saying? But that was lean back when we were still partying. I mean too. Nas is still around, but yeah. But Nas, see, Nas. Never, Nas Nas is, Nas's music has not. I don't feel like Nas was ever like I was selling packs or I was yeah. getting the keys yeah. for the da Nas's da da music da. has never changed. He's you know, still he's still been a storyteller and his music hasn't changed. It's just like I don't know too many like like Gucci Mane. Like I I don't imagine Gucci Mane is still rapping about. Shit. But Gucci he, Mane did a song I would. That's, that's, what I, that's exactly I just, what I'm about to say. I, I would. Like, oh, Gucci, you still out there, huh? Me <laughs> sitting here today wouldn't imagine that Gucci Mane would still be rapping about that, but he does. You know what I'm saying? But Gucci will throw some shit in there too, like talk about like I invest in shit like that. Right. Yeah, but but see that's what But Gucci like Jeezy could be Gucci man. Blood. And how would right. you what would you do like And I'd be like, bro, that's crazy. Yeah. Cause I mean Gucci Man is old as shit too. They like the same They're age. The same age. Gucci Man? Hmm? Oh. Okay. They like, like the, the same, same age. age. Searching like same that, man. He's looking at the album. I was looking at the okay, album. I'm like, you don't trying to find a song on there. Yeah, I mean, but it's kind of like how I can put it in perspective is like the milk and milk or Jays, and then me today. Uh, you know, forty three. Sorry, forty three. So yeah. three years younger. Yeah. Pretty close. Today? Oh, I mean, if I gotta buy milk, I gotta buy milk. Mm-hmm. I didn't uh, done that uh, for. Look who's trying to buy already. Milk. But hold on, at this point, you can buy both. That is also true. <laughs> 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 but you know what I'm saying though, like you mature, and I don't have an issue with Jeezy's music maturing. Like I think that's, like I said, that's good. That's it's a, a good. Thing. It's a good look for younger generations as well. Like yo, if you go listen to TN 101, you like yo, this nigga was getting from Seventeen Five doing his thing. He mm-hmm. hit the lights on the. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Old lady calling the police at three o'clock in the morning. You know what I'm saying? But then you listen to this, you be like, "Oh shit, my nigga!" Yeah, he called the police. He did, yeah, you know, <laughs> he, he, he in the PTA now. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think that's great. What is a uh, Kevin? Call him a Kevin instead of a Karen. Jeezy's a Kevin. Are they called Kevins? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, but, he was just taking a shot. I thought yeah. you actually had the name. No, 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 no. But like, that's my outlook on it. But I still give it a seven because I mean, it's still cool. It's just not mm. like I said. I'm probably not gonna go back to it though. Okay. Damn. Because he matured. Mm. Killed it with his clean, his clean his life up, giant. Fuck Man, it. Yeah, he did. 
How dare you better yourself? With all due respect. Bastard. Yeah. Gave you 29 songs and all you got is a seven. If you don't get a goddamn kilo hey, in your house, pour his heart out. So I'd be like, they done clone time from. <laughs> <laughs> but if you hear Jeezy talk, let me finish. If you hear Jeezy talk today, though, like he talk about shit that I, I like now, though. Like he was uh, the Tom Ford, ooh, ooh, the ooh, ooh wood. Dang, ooh, that ooh, shit fire. Ooh. He was like, he was on one of the shows. They were like, oh, you smell good. What kind of, what you got on here? Like, I got on that Tom Ford, ooh. I think it's called Ooh. I was like, yeah, that's that shit, Jay Z. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, like, I, I, it's cool to grow up. I like it. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. I mean, you grew up. You know what I'm saying? You kind of like Snowman Jeezy. I'm not. You waves. can't you wear curve Jeezy. forever. Though. Snowman Jeezy was like. waves. Oh my Johnny. god, you know Johnny is Jeezy. I'm not Jeezy. <laughs> 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 I'm Johnny. What are you talking about? <laughs> Go ahead with your little no, rain over like, here. Go ahead. <laughs> with, with my what? With your little oh, rain over here. My little what? Your little rain. My little rain. Yeah. Man, oh. there's people at home with books full of my rain. Sitting rating. on the edge of their fucking yeah. chair there's waiting people on people at home to write down. Like, why does he do that doofy shit? <laughs> Can't doofy wait to shit. write down what my rating is for this album. Because <laughs> I thoroughly process these albums and give okay. them a precise rating. Well, tell us what it is. You want the rating first? Or, yeah, I like the or my thoughts. First. Fuck like it, man. You done built up the momentum. All right, cool. It up. My rating for this album was 7.8. Look at you. Whoa. You like this. I didn't expect that. Let me be the first to tell you I, I didn't I, expect I, that. I thought it was about to be a mean six. I have never now. thought you would give Jeezy any Jeezy album that high of a rating. And no matter what me. he talked about. And you know me. That nigga gave him an eight. You gave him an eight? <laughs> he gave him an eight. Oh, he gave him an eight. Yeah, he yeah. gave him an eight. Well, I mean, my my rating scale, I couldn't quite give him an eight, but I did like I did like it. Okay, that's, like that's kind of shocking for me. Yeah. And I'm not a big Jeezy fan. Yeah. I did like it though. His rating, yeah, that's scale. what I'm saying. Like, I know he don't He's rock with Jeezy like that. Not for real. Maybe because I like the. Maybe I'm opposite of you. I like the growing up. That's what I'm about to say. Maybe he didn't like the old Jeezy. Well, maybe. But that I do like slap though. It did. <laughs> but I do like. I mean, if you're talking about getting money, hustling, drugs, like I'm for it. Like I'm here. Give me some AirPods and we we rocking. So I don't know. But still, that was the rating I gave the album. I listened to it, what, almost three times fully. So 29 songs. That's um, four and a half hours. A lot. Dedication. I gave, yeah, I tried, man. I thoroughly, I, man, I do these reviews for y'all, man. For y'all. Um, but I do have my notes here. <laughs> <laughs> I do have my notes here for y'all. Um, <laughs> Pull around, 1213. What? What'd you say, people? <laughs> What'd y'all say? <laughs> <laughs> I missed that. I started that one. I got it. Are y'all done? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, <coughs> but I did have my notes. Uh, let me see. No features. I already said that. Uh, All that shit notes right there. Yeah. This motherfucker's crazy over here. <laughs> I do my job, man. I do Carry this for y'all. Like plot, no features. Uh, I had a uh, Justice League. That? I really enjoyed that. Justice but, League. They did what the second album? Well, you didn't hear that. I was about to say, I must but, have been proud. Yeah, Justice League did the second part of the double disc. Justice League is good though. I like that a lot. Yeah, that's yeah. A, that's Justice yeah, League. That's is a dope. part of Jeezy's formula. Yeah, Jeezy does that. I got you. Hold on. Oh. What's his form? I want to know. He rock with Justice League. Yeah. I mean, is his form just I didn't know. Maybe because I'm not a big Jeezy fan, so. Justice League and Shawty Red, DJ Toomp, that's that's well, that's yeah. his sound. And Justice League is like, they they shit. Well, yeah, we were in, I know all about, you know, Justice League. Rock with R.I.P. So. Shawty Low. R.I.P. Shawty Low. Uh, Shawty, yeah. R.I.P. You knew that, right? First nigga to rock base Oh, we didn't say R.I.P. Chandler, my boy. <laughs> That's a fact. We didn't say that on the episode. We didn't say R.I.P. Chandler, man. Yeah. From Friends? Yeah. On the episode. Man, no. <laughs> you watch Friends? I did. I did that for my I mama. Didn't watch Friends. I watched I Friends. My mama said, you going to say that? And I was like, and I'm white. I, I don't, don't watch it. Like, I don't watch fat. it today, but I did. Used I've to watch never it. seen one full episode of Friends. Uh, I'm oh, going to be Friends honest. It's good, man. I've seen I highlights. I only watched the white comedies when the cable was off. That's how I got on King of Queens. Way to take it back to the way to take it back to the mud. King. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> when I had the money, you know, since so I was watching Martin Wayne, I watched the shit on like the CW. Yeah, <laughs> but this was good though. K C M O TV sixty two. 
All right, man. Y'all, y'all stepping on Christmas tree review. Right. Right. Come on, man. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't want to go obviously go through all these songs, but I'll pick out a few that I liked. Uh, obviously, the intro was great. I might forgive. I'm sure y'all enjoyed that. Uh, my name. That was a nigga song. joke, wasn't it? I feel like it. I, boy. What? Are you talking about slavery? <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. I figured y'all would like that. Uh, you can't use y'all no more. <laughs> let me see. Uh, my favorite songs. I had two favorite songs. Um, Couldn't Lose If I Tried. I liked that song. That was my favorite song. And you had two favorite songs? Yes. You just got on him about having one and favorite song. Expectations. My two favorite songs. Yeah, Expectations was fire. That's, some, that's some the second half? Shit. Yeah, that's, that was Damn, some grown-up shit. That was some grown up shit. Um, Fuck you, Spotify. Other songs. Uh, Rewrite history. I like that song. Um, Shine on me. Keep the change. Delusional. Mm-hmm. That was cool. Uh, Titanic. Are you just playing these songs, Kenny? No, no. no. Titanic. That song was dope. I like that song. Um, Are you gonna go through every song? No, no, I'm not. There's 29 of them. I did like roughly what. 18 of them or so, 17. Let's do five. Uh, And then uh, there was a line that he said that was kind of cool. Uh, Sipping on yak like it's white wine. Was that on the first half? Was, uh, what song was that in? I didn't put down what song that was in. So I feel like he talked about... Uh, Wait a minute. Wait a them. goddamn minute. Why do you think that was a dope line? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that's cool. But like, you here. think like you sipping on white wine, like, you know, people like... Drink a lot of white wine, but like it's yak. People drink a lot of wine. yak too. But like you drinking more wine than yak. Lindari drinks more yak than wine. Whoa, wine. come the fuck. What are <laughs> y'all doing, man? I drink no, more yak I'm than wine. Saying, no, but I'm just, I'm just saying, about you like, pick up some Hennessy before you pick up no, some no, Moscato. No, no, no. no, no, no. So I'm just would, saying. A, a cab? <laughs> no, I wouldn't fuck with no Moscato, but a cab. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm just saying, like, wine drinkers obviously will drink a lot of wine to get wine drunk. Wine wasted. But if you're drinking yak like you're drinking wine, like you're going to get obliterated. It depends on your tolerance. That hits you in your soul, huh? It did. This nigga said he's <laughs> drinking gin popsicles at the tender age of 14. <laughs> tender age. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> at the tender age. Uh, yeah. Did I say that on, on, the, on the mic? Yes. Yeah. I said that on the mic, y'all sure. Yes. Yeah. All right, I was about to say, you can't be saying shit on the mic, man. <laughs> At the tender age is wild. Uh, uh, so, Sade, that song was cool. Yeah. I enjoyed that song. And then that was pretty much close to the end. Since Pac died, did that hit you? It was cool. Pac been it was gone cool. a long time. Pac was cool. your boy. He said he ain't cried since Pac died. Pac been gone he for lying. like 30, 23 Even years. Even though his pops died in between that time. Years. He said he ain't cried since Pac died. Cap. That's cat. You seen Big him cry? Cat. Huh? You Big seen cat. him cry? You can't tell me that Tupac made you cry more than your damn daddy. What if he didn't fuck with? What if his daddy yeah. went for milk too? My daddy, he ain't been nothing oh, to me. Why like, did I bring that up? You I ain't cried not one tear when my daddy was gone. Two Man, tears you in was the bucket. Blue fuck Snowball got put down. Snowball was my daddy. That was a <laughs> <The> dog. dog. <laughs> I said, "You cool, Chris? <laughs> yeah." <laughs> <laughs> When they turn their head up. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. My daddy left that money, though. So I was cool. This guy. At the tender age of 18, I got that money. <laughs> but that's it. I already gave y'all the rating. Oh, man. 7.8. 7.8, man. 7. 8. I, I kind of like this. Come I mean, on, 29 Kenny. songs, you got to like something. All right. All right, Jeezy. Mr. Jenkins. It didn't have any... Skips. Uh, I didn't play songs that was that bad. It was a skip. And the beats be cool. And you gonna get cool, cool beats from. Jay-Z. It was a. It was a. It was a cool vibe. It was. It, it was consistent. The sounds were consistent. Um, the beats were great. Uh, the the my standout beat was uh, shine on me. I like that one a lot. Yeah. I had the sample going and the made weights was. They was late waiting. You know what I'm saying? Oh wait, hold on. And then never be a fan <laughs> had the life sample on there. Yeah, it did. It did. Yeah. Okay, I had that on my notes too, but I didn't hit that. Sorry. Okay, Go ahead, JoJo. But uh, all in all, 29 tracks. I ran through it about twice. I give it an eight, man. I give it an eight. Right. I give it an eight. You know, he had the mature shit. He, he 
he give you a little old Jeezy every now and then, let you know he still got it, you know. He kind of like he kind of made me feel like he like the old uncle. Like, boy, don't make me get out there, boy. I just you know. I mean, he is forty six. Yeah, yeah, I sh- I show you some wild shit. I, I show you how to cook a brick. <laughs> but so no, nah. use paper towels. Uh, yeah, I said yeah. that. I said, "Woo, boy, <laughs> <laughs> you a wild he gave, boy." He gave out the recipe on her a couple times. Yeah, like he, you know, he's he's mature. He's still he talking to straining with the paper towels. I said, "My boy, yeah, <laughs> my Can't boy, be fucking brownie." Man, <laughs> he, he can't beat them Dollar Triple General joints. You going right through them? Triple ply, <laughs> gotta be brownie. It Boy. gotta be. Or don't let don't let Franklin see you. <laughs> Bash your head against the counter. But uh, nah, it, it just felt like a Jeezy album. Uh, the the producers were there. Uh, he was giving you some. He was giving you some game. He was giving you some street shit. I, I think I think it was a well a well balanced album. I should say. That's fair. Liked it a lot. Liked it uh-huh. a lot. I, I I go back to it. It was a good amount of it was a good amount of songs in there. It was a couple songs I felt like were strip club songs. Uh, really? Can you lose if I try to sound a strip clubby? You think so? Yeah. I didn't get that. It was another one. I, I did like that. that. I will say that. that. Was one of my people songs. gonna probably see I'm hating on this album, but I did like that. Like how he, he's bragging different. Yeah, yeah. I like you know the forty year old. Like, I made it brag. Yeah, I like he's bragging different. Like it's not about me moving a bunch of bricks and getting it for yeah. a great price, but and I'm out here living life. It's some vulnerability on this album. My nigga, what? Yeah, he's just, <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's being vulnerable about you know what I'm saying like <laughs> y'all got some he words. Can't be vulnerable. Go. He can't be vulnerable out here. <laughs> It seemed like he going through something. Somebody told on him. Somebody did something. To nah, piss yeah. Him off. Uh, he, he, he really feel away about some of these guys. You know what I'm saying? Well, so I like feel his, his, he's, hurt. he's hurt a little was bit. Was it Pimp C? What? No, a lot of it is uh, <laughs> people try to downgrade or like take away from what him and Meech were, like yeah. how their relationship and yeah. how, you know, um, a lot of people like he wasn't. And he wasn't in the mix like that. He was like, shit, nigga, I literally had a meal before I touched the microphone. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Things like that. So a lot of it, and then, you know, a lot of it is coming from people that were in the camp. Okay. It ain't outsiders talking shit. You know what I'm saying? It's like niggas that was also a part of BMF. A lot of them talk. Cr- Nobody's listening to Blue anymore. Um. Right? Blue can do it. <laughs> Blue Blue Didn't got his own that? problems. Yeah, Blue got his own problems. But it was Shit. other people in the camp who was like, Jeezy ain't. You got some niggas who were supposed to be like high in there who were like, yeah, Jeezy was that dude. You know what I'm saying? Like he wasn't necessarily doing all of the bullshit with us, but he was in the shit with us. You know what I'm saying? But then you got other niggas that were pretty high up in there talking about like, that nigga wasn't like that. Mm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's like... He talking to them niggas. Yeah, I get it. I you know get it. He was saying? getting some shit off. Yeah. You know what I'm he was getting some shit off. And it, but it, it was dope, man. It was dope. And you know, the mature song had to be don't, don't cheat. You know what I'm saying? That just, I'm out here getting money, girl. I ain't, I ain't got no time to be he cheating, He said, while you sleeping, why I'm you, out here hustling, sleep, getting man. the bread. You think I'm slanging, dangling? Like, I'm out here making the money, girl. That's some, real, that's some real married Joe thing. Smith. He man. definitely to listen. He definitely made that song while he was married. Definitely. Yeah. And plus, black men don't cheat. So I was like, nigga, obviously. For sure. Like, for sure. 100%. You said real niggas that. don't cheat. Black men don't cheat. Real niggas don't cheat. Yeah. yeah. So, same thing. Black people, real niggas. Yeah. That's a, a simile <laughs> metaphor. <laughs> <laughs> you look it up in the thesaurus of the black men. Bop, bop. <laughs> real niggas. I wasn't going to say it. <laughs> but, uh, nah, that was, that was fire. That was I a good listen for you. I give it an eight. Good old eight. So what we got? Eight, eight, seven. Seven, seven and a half. I had a 7.8. You got an eight. Yeah, you got Sorry, eight. buddy. You don't I didn't want to give it an eight. You don't have control. Not oh, you didn't eight. give it an eight. You gave it an eight. Seven all, point all, eight. All of your ratings are weighted because you want to do the other stuff. We got weights and ratings. <laughs> 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 this dude put your ratings on a curve. <laughs> that was good, son. That was good. Uh, what was your favorite song, Keenan? I think I said Shine on him. Oh, okay. You said you liked the beat on there, so I didn't know if that was your favorite song. Yeah, I think it was Shine on him. I like the intro, too. You know, It was, yeah. Fuck all you motherfuckers talking shit about me. I like, yeah, I like yeah. that kind of shit. I turned it just on. Get I was like, early, okay. Like, uh, yeah, he's, hey. We out the gate. The intro got to be fired, though. The intro's fired. 
You gotta like, have a good If you make an album out there, your intro gotta be fire. Meek Mill fucked up everything after that, that intro. It's gotta be fire. Gotta Dreams be fire. and Nightmares? Yeah. Because uh, it's that's, like... That's the gold fucking standard. That's different. Gold standard, bro. If you don't capture them on the intro, I'm it's kind of like... I'm dead ass tired. I get up from the dream. <laughs> they, <laughs> they, <laughs> they can turn off your song. Oh, you uh, like that, yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> what? I ain't we had nothing left. left. What party was you at? Was that the, was the, the pink party. Pink party. I ain't had nothing left. Oh, we... Hey, sheets to the wind. We drank it up. Nothing left in the tank. They played it. Uh, well, how's it start? Bro. You just uh, hear the music. Pianos, bro. I'm looking around. Yeah. I know y'all ain't coming through this motherfucker. <laughs> bro. I turn it around. Turn it around. Hey, we was there. <laughs> we was right on the stage. Right, right close to the yeah. stage. Like, that phone mother, falling. That motherfucker different. Hey. <laughs> we'll be back. But yeah. <laughs> uh, next week, we're going to do a little Chris Brown. You know, 11, I did 11, see Chris 11, 11 shout out, man. 11, 11, 11 shout 11. out. When did he put out that his last album? No, uh, the last, last one was. It was this year, right? No, it was like last the one year. with Pitch Black on. It? No, the one no. with um, the one with you like the song a lot. Yeah, with Warm Embrace on it. That's the one that had Pitch Black on it. That's a classic the pitch song. Pitch Black, loving my baby, mm-hmm. but no, that same album. Was that this year? No, that, that was like no. a year or two. I feel like. I just feel like a lot of people be stealing my 11 11. Wait, like, you don't like Woman Brace? I've been there oh, since the beginning. Oh, you said, like, I like it, like, you don't fuck with it. I'm like, oh, that's a good song. Who put this in our chat? One Gotta Go. Jodeci, Drew Hill, Boyce, and I did that. I put that in there that. for Keenan. Who you, who you letting go? Drew Hill, for sure. <laughs> What's the what's the what's the run again? Uh, that's I mean, hard. If you me. got it, I mean, you have. I don't want to, but if you have to one let one go, to go. I'm doing Jodeci, that. Drew, Drew Hill's got to go. I think I'm edition. doing that. I might get rid of new edition. That was before your time, Johnny. Exactly. Yeah. That's why I was thinking too. Like, I mean, yeah, yeah Drew Hill. I can't get rid of. Drew. That's why I can't get rid of them because the five real, steps. To be quite honest, how do you hundred percent quite honest? The only song from New Edition that I'm really, really rocking with is "Can You Stand Around." Okay, so say, say it again for the audience. What, at wait, home. was Tenderoni? Was that New Edition? That was just Bobby, Bobby Brown. Was Bobby. That was just Bobby. That was a good song, boy. Mm-hmm. So name Dang. them off though again, Lindary, for the people at home. You got Jodeci. Put y'all shit in the comment. Mm-hmm. Jodeci, Drew Hill. Voice him in new edition. Well, Jodeci, do I get Casey and JoJo? One too? has to go. If if they gotta go, you can't have Casey. No, because then no. you gotta take Cisco with Drew Hill. Yeah, I can do that because Incomplete is great. Oh, you got me. You got yeah, me. I mean, I can I can do that. They, really they like solos Drew don't go. Casey Their and solos JoJo. don't go. The group goes. Casey and JoJo. Casey though. and JoJo was a group all by itself. Yeah, though. they had an album, like two albums, didn't they? It was some heat Speaking on there. But Jodeci. Y'all see TGT getting back together? I've seen that. Who's yeah, TGT? We saw that. Tyrese, Genuine, and Tank. They said I'm sorry and hugged it out. Yeah. And Tank no on when he He didn't, of course. Tank. Yeah. Well, I ain't gonna but say Casey that. and Jojo, what you about to say about Tank? Like, he, like, he bet not about something. He built like I was like, what you about to say? I ain't gonna say nothing. So, new edition for you. I I'll edition. probably go New Edition because I don't remember a lot of their music either. New edition. A lot of it was Teeny Bopper stuff too. Mm-hmm. I was probably a Teeny back then. No, can't, it was before you were a Teeny, nigga. Oh. You was a thought mm-hmm. in your mama's eyes probably. Okay. <laughs> Is everybody getting rid of New Edition? I was. I said, uh, said Drew, Drew Hill. Hill. Okay. I really like Drew Hill. I, I like Drew Hill music. too, but so I said one arm, gotta go. What yeah, like group? what are you listening to from New Edition? <laughs> what R&B group in Are you out here bopping to fucking Mr. Telephone Man? No. Hold on, man. That's my shit. It's cool, but I'm thinking about <laughs> I'm thinking about little See, young Chris. Like, this was hard because I don't remember a lot of New Edition music until somebody says it. Are you here? You like, oh, okay, I do like this. Dude, three songs from New Edition: Can You Stand, Can You Stand the Rain, Mr. Telephone, one of the Man, best songs ever, and Still in Love that came out on the later album. What you got from? Uh, Drew they didn't do so their whole them? second album. Like that? Their whole second the album, thong you can listen. Song. No, no, the whole, thong, 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 thong. the whole that's second album, you can listen from one to the end and not have it a skip. No, I mean, Drew Hill's dope I put too. Pretty Ricky over all of them. That's fucking crazy. You said what? what? <laughs> <laughs> you said what? I'm taking Pretty Ricky over all. That's wild. Yeah, I was about to is. ask, who would you replace? This nigga's like Blue Stars. <laughs> I blue, a baby blue. <laughs> <laughs> Pandemic fraud. <laughs> who are you replacing? Well, who are you replacing? Who, who you took out? I'd probably go Jagged Edge. Mm, it has mm. to be in that time era. Uh, 112? 112? I like Wait, 112 When was too. Jagged Edge? Or, uh, uh, when was Jagged Edge? They same, were the same, same time. Same, same time as Drew they Hill all and Jagged Edge. Oh, yeah, Jagged Edge for sure. Jagged but Edge. 112 was weak till Room 112. 
I thought it was no. part two, part three. What was there? Part three. Part three. Whichever one had player on it. I guess Room 112. Room 112 was our first album. Silk. Silk. Uh, we just did that. We reviewed that album. Like, come if on, you did. That, that whole hey. album, it's like, it's up there with the H-Town Silk album. Is, like, that's one of the best albums. Silk ever. is like so underrated. Oh, for sure. Yeah. I feel like not enough people talk about Silk. Yeah, for sure. I'm a, you know, I'm going to say this. Like, I know people like Jodeci and Boys and Men. I think they were good, but. Probably because they were just a little bit before me, before I really got into music, I would definitely take Jagged Edge over them. Uh, not Joe, not Boys to Men. No, Boys to Men. Their their big big songs are fucking amazing. See, right now when you say they big songs, I can't think of any. But when so you say them, I'm like, oh, I know that song. Like, end of, end the, of the world. world. <laughs> uh, oh, I know that's yep. To the end um, of the world. Let's make love. I can think of all of them. Uh, I can't think of the name, <laughs> but I can hear them. Oh. I still listen Sing. to them. I'm not gonna do that. I still listen wow. to them like all the time. Doing just fine. Uh, I'll make love to you. Yeah. I think you oh, said that. Yeah. Like, was that on Soul Food? That's no, like Soul Food was Mama. Mama. Ever. Mama. Oh yeah. So, that, even that song though, like nigga, I danced to that with my mom's at the wedding. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like boys and men, they're in there. But you probably got married to meet me at the altar or something. I hate that song. Jagged actually. Edge is up there. I really hate I that song. I actually changed my opinion on the song because of your. Yeah, opinion. I hate that song. I think it's a trash ass song, honestly. Man, y'all got issues. (laughs) Y'all got mama issues. Nah, I just, I think it's a dumb song. Man, I can't, you know what? Mm. Guess I just go home then. (laughs) What was Jacket Edge's uh, first song, though? That album was really short. Uh, Chris got the computer. I can't look at it. What group would you put in here, Keenan? 112. 112? What was 112? Peaches and Cream? Peaches and Cream, but, Cupid. But like I said, uh, 112 didn't hit till later on in their oh, career. Cupid was on Room 112. They well, yeah, of course they had the hit. That's just, that might have been when you the rest got of that, on. But that the rest of you got to be. I got to be. You already know, know I had that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just that, because you had to be, you really rocked with I don't it. dislike Jagged Edge. The rest of the album was kind of trash. I like Jagged Edge. Jagged Edge is one of my favorite. Let's Get Married is not one of the songs I like of theirs. Anywhere? Anywhere is great. Boom. Yeah. yeah. You gonna put 112 boom, over boom, silk in this thing? Boom. No way. 112 over silk? Mm, nah. You crazy. Mm. I feel like silk shit, like niggas is still talking about Do Me Baby or whatever that was. Freak Me Baby. Freak, Freak Me Baby. Me baby. Yeah, like, <laughs> oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like man, let's, that's on that old tip. Nobody down. talking about 112. Like, ain't nobody that. talking about peaches and cream. Which nah, is ain't nobody talking 40 about. 40 beat, though. Funny, <laughs> funny fact. I, I went <laughs> to high school <laughs> with the girl that's married to Lil Zane, though. <laughs> you said what? I went to high school with the girl that's married to Lil Zane, though. You said that a couple times. Yeah. Funny He's fact. proud of that. I, I think that's pretty pretty weird. I don't know how that happens. All right, so y'all, we all, we all <laughs> in people know people. that people we put in uh, Silk, Jagged Edge, <laughs> <laughs> taking out Drew Hill, New Edition. Yeah. I'm keeping Drew Hill. I'm keeping Drew New Hill. New Edition, you can kick rocks. All right, so let me, if y'all took out New Edition, who's next to go? Hmm? Let's make the edge. Stop fucking around. Oh, well, Let me look at the camera list. Well, we Silk definitely should have been in there. No, we're going off the list. Whoever you took, no, no. who's your next target? We already discussed that. But Silk. My next target would be... Jodeci, Drew Hill, or Boyz II Men. Mm, yeah, what's up? Mm, the tight. problem I is... I have to go Jodeci because I about Drew say, Hill that's and, what I was about to say. I like more of Casey and JoJo shit than I did of Jodeci. Yeah. So I would, might have to knock Jodeci, man. Jodeci be next. That means you can't get Casey and JoJo. I know. Well, you know... Because uh, uh, love letter, I'm gonna I'm gonna be hurt that I don't get that. But you can't because that's separate. Last night, no, it is separate. They did. Everything they did, no, As because Jodeci, everything you didn't let us did. include them, so we can't. But Jodeci is count. separate from Casey and JoJo. It's the same people. I understand that, but they're two different entities. It's just a name. They just changed the name. It's the same people. But it's LLC. It's a DBA. It's an LLC. Both of them are LLC. It's you know, a DBA. Y'all, y'all out of control. <laughs> Doing business ass, bro. It's a DBA. <laughs> I'm like, y'all out of control. I don't know, man. That Jodeci. would be tough. I really like yeah. some of Jodeci stuff, too. Well, will you go to grocery shopping at Aldi's tomorrow? Will I go grocery shopping at Aldi's we tomorrow? We went. Yeah. Aldi. Yeah, tomorrow, you, for you, sure. You tomorrow is coming. Trader Joe's over Aldi's? Aldi. Trader Joe's today. Yeah. We went to Trader Joe's today. It was going back to that same thing. Get one. It's two different names. It's two different things. No, I'm told two no, totally different stores. Carry different products same and everything. Fucking, same family. But Trader it's Joe's, you're paying too. more it's for organic. They got you, big dog. No. <laughs> you ever seen orange chicken at Aldi's? 
I bet you can find it. Yeah, I ain't not. I, go I bet you can find it. I ain't looked. It. I'll give somebody five dollars. They find it. You gonna save five dollars at all these? So she find orange. She got to buy your bags though. She got all right. Y'all got anything else? Nah, bro. You just carry the product. This nigga wanna be a dope boy. Peace and love, y'all.